Top three banks that approve new LLC startups for $50,000 with no proof of income. Guys, I have something really exciting to spill today, and I'm going to spill all the tea on this one, okay? I'm going to dive deep into these three banks because they're not only going to give you one, not two, but how about six 0% interest-free cards, business credit cards. And we're talking about some serious funding here, anywhere between $50,000 all the way up to $200,000 straight from these top three banks that my clients, I mean, they, they swear by them, okay? Now, if you're a fresh out of the gate, brand new startup, brand new LLC, this is definitely for you, okay, because you need zero income. <laughs> you don't have to have any revenue, no collateral, all right? And we're not talking about, you know, the flimsy net vendor cards or the store cards or the fuel cards. No, we're going to dive deep into cold, hard cash that you could inject right into your bank accounts. OK, now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I like to build business credit on autopilot. Right. I don't love those net 30 accounts. I know they're necessary evils that sometimes we have to have some of them. But. I don't like diving in deep on those things, right? We build things on autopilot. We put them on like nav and e-credible lift, right? And we utilize things like that to get our 80 paydex score boosted up, right? But let's face it, those stinky net 30 accounts, they're not going to get you straight cold hard cash that you might need to inject into your startup, okay? So to play ball in this one, you got to be inside of the big dog club, all right? You need a FICO score of a six. 80 or higher okay keep your credit card utilization under 30 percent scrub clean any negatives and derogatories in other words you're going to need some financial houses in order in this one but don't worry and don't fear if you're not squeaky clean yet and if you want help getting to the 700 club get that 680 score or better and clean up all that stuff just go up to the description and join my email list guys or you can always subscribe to the channel and I keep my cell phone number in the description. You can just text coach to that number and we could talk about anything you want. I'll set you guys up with a free consultation and we could talk about building business credit. We could talk about your personal credit. We could talk about scaling your business. I also love to talk about real estate. I have a beautiful course found in the description where you can get into the gateway strategy into real estate. Check that course out. And before you leave the description, grab your free stocks. Now let's talk about how you actually qualify for these things because you definitely need to have a real legitimate business to do this. You can't do this on your personal credit scores. You can't do this on your sole proprietor, your social security number, right? None of that's going to work. You have to have a legitimate LLC or some type of business in order to get this done, okay? So don't fear if you don't have that yet. Head on over to Inkfile. You could check out their silver package and you could open up an LLC. They won't charge you anything. They will require that you pay for the state's filing fees, which is right around anywhere between $100 to $150, but you can get that LLC opened up pretty quickly. Now, when you're picking the name for your LLC and you're trying to marry yourself to all this business credit, right? Don't pick any risky names, right? Pick something like neutral, right? Marketing, ventures, consulting, you know, global enterprises, anything like that, okay? Anything not like that is a red flag, like if you say, Real estate, capitals, trucking, credit, properties, right? Investments, cannabis, crypto. Eh, you're going to get denied just for the name. Okay, now that you got your LLC all sorted out, head over to the irs.gov and grab your EIN letter because you're going to need it to apply for all of these credit cards, all right? You'll also need a business bank account, some type of checking account opened up for the business before you approach these banks, okay? Now, when you're fresh out of the gate with your fresh LLC, you have zero revenue, right? And so many of us are afraid, like, how can I put zero down on this application and get money, right? <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to put zero. Putting zero is a big mistake. That'll just disqualify you, all right? What you want to do is you want to put stated income down, all right? In this no doc process, they're not going to ask you to dig up bank statements or P&Ls or tax returns. None of that stuff, okay? Your word is your bond, okay? So to build out this projection, it's not that hard to do, right? Let's say you're a landscaping company in, uh, you know, Houston, Texas, making around $50,000 a month because they that's what the average haul is, right? Around $50,000 a month for six hundred k a year. Now, it's fair for you to say in your first year, that you're going to rake in $150,000. No problem, right? Put that down as your stated income and you're backing it with your solid credit score. So the banks are going to be fine with it. Now, the first bank that I'm going to talk about is Chase. Now, I do talk about these banks quite a bit, 
But in this video, I'm going to dive a little bit deeper than I ever have before because I want to show you guys how you can get multiple cards all at the same time. Okay, so take your EIN letter and your fresh LLC documents and head on down to Chase and open a business checking account. All right, this is going to be the first place you're going to start. They have a sweet deal while you're there. Apply for the business ink card. Okay, it comes with 0% interest anywhere between 12 and 18 months. And just like that, you could be snagging your first 20 to $50,000 with the bank ink card, right? And trust me, you need zero revenue on your books to get this done. Okay, so you could be open for about two weeks and boom, have twenty to $50,000 just from that first one. Now, a pro tip here, if you go and stash $500 uh, in your business checking account, you're going to have smoother sailing here. And if you can swing it, grab their personal Chase uh, credit card first. This way, you could have some uh, relationship building in the you know in the upfront before you uh, go approaching them for the business card. Right? This will definitely pave the way for juicier, higher limits for you on the business side. Okay? And once you nail that Chase Inc. card, don't hesitate to go back for a second one because they have this cool rule: two in thirty. All right. That simply means you could apply for two cards within 30 days. All right. And they have so many other cards to choose from. You can get more with interest free. You can get ones with cash back. They've got a list line of cards that you could just go and grab. All right. Which is cool because before you know it, your 20 can turn into 40 or maybe your 50 can even turn into a hundred thousand dollars all in your first week of opening the doors. Now Chase is usually gonna check your Experian, but sometimes they will throw you a curveball and check all three reporting agencies. Kind of depends on where you're located in the United States, all right? And here's the kicker, most individuals who join my mentorship get their two Chase cards within the first 30 days, and they bag $1,500 in cash back bonuses just for signing up, right? Then we go and pivot over to American Express, which is our next bank up on the list. Or as we all like to call them, Amex, right? We all have heard of Amex before. Now, having a personal card with Amex beforehand will seriously grease the wheels for your business credit cards with Amex, okay? We're talking $10,000 and above for your business credit cards if you start out first with the personal card, okay? If you don't, I've seen it time and time again where you only end up snagging around two, $3,000 with these Amex business cards and really, is that worth it? No, right? Because that's essentially what you could get on the personal side, right? So here's the kicker about Amex. They are going to tap into your bank account, but don't worry. You don't need to have any hefty deposits. They'll still land the approval here. Even if you have no revenue running through it, you don't need like three months of bank statements. They just want one. Sometimes they ask for a letterhead from the business, uh, from the bank that you're working with, okay? Now to go with their cards, I would definitely recommend the Blue Cash and the Blue Plus because they're offering the 0% interest for 12 months, right? And just like Chase, you can snag more than one at the same time. They have a one in five rule, which means every five days you can slide in another application for another business credit card, okay? So shoot your shot, two, three, whatever it takes, however many intervals it takes to get your limits up, and you could be snagging as upwards of $70,000 of 0% interest for 12 months. Pretty awesome for your business startup funding. Now they do do a double pool here, so they're gonna look at Experian and TransUnion, but if you only want a single pool, you could simply freeze your TransUnion and they'll just look at a hard pool on your Experian. Well, guys, I'm spilling all the tea today. If you like this kind of content, consider becoming a subscriber. Don't forget to hit the like button. And guys, remember, fastest way to grow and scale quickly is to take others along with you. So share this with all your friends and all your family. Let's get back to the video. Okay, I just showed you now four 0% interest-free cards for 12 months. So let's roll on to one where you can find three 0% cards, right? I want to talk about Bank of America. Now, just like Chase... Bank of America is going to want you to have a little bit of a business relationship with them, okay? So go ahead and open up a business checking account. Throw the $500 in there, okay? Trust me, it's going to help you smooth sailing later, right? Open up a personal personal credit card with them if you have to, okay? Before you go and approach them for business reasons, all right? Now, once you've done that, go ahead and grab, uh, apply for their 0% for nine months business credit card. And then if you're feeling lucky, go for the second, then go for the third. All right, literally, it's that that simple to get it with these guys.
Now, even though they approve you for the third card, we have often seen that it comes in at a very small limit, right? So you could be grabbing that twenty to thirty to fifty thousand dollars on the first two cards, and then the last one comes in really low. I mean, really, really low. Now, here's another little pro tip before you guys go. If you do find yourself getting like these limits around ten to fifteen thousand dollars. It's time to start flexing your muscles because if you want to get approved for the bigger cards like twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars, you have to get the first credit card to actually approve you for that, right? So it's time to flex your muscles and call up their reconsideration lines like Amex, Chase, and Bank of America. They all have a reconsideration line, and you can call them up and say, "Hey, look, you approved me for fifteen thousand or ten thousand, whatever it was, but man, my business needs thirty or my business needs fifty, and here's why." And here's more information to give you to show you why I need that more, right? And once you get that first card up to a higher limit, when you go to apply at the next bank and the next bank, they're going to start you out with a much higher limit. Pro tip here, guys: don't leave that one on the table. That's all for today. I appreciate you tuning in for another one. Remember to become a subscriber or head on up to the description and just join my email list so you never miss my here today, gone tomorrow sort of stuff like grant updates or funding deadlines. Right? There's always going to be something that might. Not be there tomorrow, okay? So check back with us daily, or join the email list. Remember, you could always text Coach to my number found in the description if you want to get hooked up with a free consultation. There's never any upfront charge, okay? We could talk about building business credit, scaling your current business, or if you're in a startup, or we could talk about real estate. I do have a awesome course found in the description. It is the Gateway Strategy into Real Estate. Check that out. All right, guys, grab your free stocks before you go. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor, so none of this was financial advice. And I'll catch you guys all on the next one. Bye for now.